Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the morning coffee capsule pod machine. Now, this is not any regular pod machine and does have some really unique features that build upon a normal machine compatible with Nespresso pods. Through either the interactive display where you can choose numerous styles that match up with what coffee you're brewing or wanting to drink, or by controlling many of the brewing parameters yourself through the machine or using your smartphone and the morning coffee designated app. So the morning coffee brewer has temperature variability, volume management, so how much coffee actually ends up in your cup, and pressure profiling, which adds to the extraction of the coffee, those nuanced flavors in the cup. So what we're seeing is many artisan and specialty coffee roasters teaming up with the morning brewer and then offering their own pods, as well as the recipes they recommend to those pods. And then these are accessible and auto-programmable through the app straight into the machine. So a regular capsule machine, whilst super convenient, really takes away from the user the ability to control anything except what pod you place into the machine. Whereas with the morning coffee brewer, you get to decide how that pod brews and what the end result should taste like. So it really is a recipe machine for hot drinks and is not only good for brewing coffee, but these recipes could also be leveraged to brew tea as well. Now I've got your run of the mill pods here, some specialty coffee pods, and then a reusable pod that I'll be placing my own coffee in and then tasting across all of these three. But before we do a quick rundown of the machine and begin brewing these, it should come as no surprise to you that I'm gonna ask you to smash that like button, hit the subscribe with the bell notifications, as this is gonna help grow our channel and we do also really appreciate it. So with that, now let's take a look at the morning capsule coffee morning coffee capsule machine. Now filling the machine up at the back, you have the removable water tank and there is a full capacity of 850 mils of water. The machine remains in standby when it's not being used and also has a sweet startup tune and message to get you going. Now before and in between every brew, it is recommended to give the machine a quick purge. And this helps clean that brew chamber out for the next capsule, but can also keep the machine squeaky clean. Now when it comes to cleanup, this is in the form of a removable drip tray found under your cup. And there's also a double compartment for catching the spent pods and a liquid collection tray under that as well. Using the rotating ring on the outside of the display is a smooth and enjoyable experience cycling through the complete menu. You can enter into any one of the profiles to see the specific parameters of it and how it will brew. The Bloomin Brew is the morning capsule machine's flagship profile, if you will, where it will first pre-infuse your pot of coffee before then entering into the extraction phase. And this is a common approach to almost all other brewing methods. And it's really nice to see it's making its way into here as well. Now there's also a scale built into the base of the machine found under the drip tray. And this is how you can accurately achieve the exact volume of coffee you want brewed out into your cup. And it's also programmed to detect when your cup is not there, which I find is a really cool feature. There's also a light found under the brew head, which also allows you to easily see the coffee as it's brewing out into your cup. And all that's left to do now is place a pod into the top of the machine, which is very similar to any other pod machine. Next, choose your desired brewing recipe, and with a cup underneath the brew head, hit the confirm button twice and it'll brew away. Now, when it comes to pod coffee, it is good to be aware that we're not taking anything away here from the reasonable expectation of how a coffee extracted in this way tastes within certain aspects like texture. Personally, I've never experienced a high amount of texture in any coffee that I've brewed within this way. And I suspect though, drinking short black coffees like this is not the most common way that pod drinkers enjoy their coffee. So you're either adding milk to it for a latte or a flat white or hot water. And the morning coffee machine can do this with hot water. And there's a bypass system that happily adds whatever volume of water and temperature that you like into your cup. And that means that my favorite drink of Long Black did just get really easy to make. But from here, I'm just gonna pump out three quick coffees using a variety of these pods that I have in front of me. And then we'll talk a little bit more about brewing and their results.
So the regular Nespresso pod, it's pretty underwhelming. It's a weak shot of coffee. Everything looks great whilst it's brewing, maybe, but honestly, I wouldn't be drinking this every day. It is that perfect example of using poor ingredients to make a good meal. The specialty coffee pod, well, it's not like it's night and day between these two, but there is loads more character and flavor within this cup of coffee. I did find this more enjoyable. There is a cleaner aftertaste in there as well, and there's nothing sinister lurking in the aftertaste. So I enjoyed that much more. And with my own coffee, well, there is sort of a catch with this one. I've used an espresso grinder, and I've also spent time dialing it in to get the coffee tasting just right. And yeah, like it actually tastes really decent, but for the work I've put in and the investment, it still kind of has that hallmark capsule coffee thinness to it, where there is just not that super punchy thick espresso you get out of an espresso machine. But the flavor hits way more than the other two, so it is by far the most enjoyable from these three. Now there really is so much more to explore with the morning coffee capsule machine, and we haven't even touched on tea brewing or extended brewing of your coffee out in terms of volume. Now, when you have more volume in the cup, there is a decrease in strength, and that's the real kicker here. Pretty much every Nespresso compatible pod, sustainable or not, is only gonna contain a maximum of five and a half grams or so of coffee. So in truth, the size of your end resulting beverage is somewhat limited in most aspects. Unless you go down the road of using lighter roasted coffee for Lungo style espressos. But I don't have a strong belief that that particular audience is captivated by the draw card of a fancy Nespresso pod machine. No. What this machine is about is elevating an already well-established platform in the Nespresso pod brewing, and then really being that medium between great roasted coffee and good brewing practices, and the ultra convenient world of pod and capsule brewing. And these machines would serve superbly in an office, homestay, or Airbnb. And if you're at home and you're already brewing with capsules, but looking for an upgrade, and you don't want to compromise on convenience, also, if you are just straight up looking for convenience, but you kind of don't want to compromise on quality either. I think you'll find the morning coffee capsule machine quite satisfying in its ability to brew a really good cup of Nespresso pod coffee. And that's the morning coffee capsule machine for you. So if you have any further questions on this machine, throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Thanks for watching to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.